Election Day is almost here, and I had the opportunity to ask the candidates for U.S. Senate in South Carolina the same 14 questions. I traveled to Columbia to meet with Jamie Harrison and met with Senator Graham in our Fox Carolina studios. They told me a little bit about themselves. Tell me about where you grew up. Um, you know, what did you do before politics? I grew up in central South Carolina, right down the road near Clemson. I'm the first in my family to go to college. My dad was a World War II veteran, and we had a liquor store a restaurant and a pool room. My parents worked uh, from the time they opened up to the time they closed six days a week. Sunday was our only day off. We lived in the back of the liquor store until I was in high school. Uh, if you own your own business, you can't afford to get sick. I grew up in a uh, small textile town called Central. Uh, my parents worked really hard so that myself and my sister, who went to the college of Charleston, could have a better life. Uh, I've learned a lot growing up in a textile town in South Carolina, being the first in my family to go to college. When I was 21, my mom died. When, 15 months later, my dad died. If it weren't for an aunt and uncle helping me who worked in the textile plants over in Seneca, uh, I'd had a hard time making it with my sister who was 13. So what have I learned? Most of us are one car wreck away from needing somebody's help. I'm a proud Republican, but my sister had Pell Grants to go to college. When my parents died, uh, we lost everything pretty much. My uncle started running the businesses and uh, uh, I will never forget what it's like to grow up in a small business family. You can't afford to get sick. You go to work every day whether you feel like it or not. And uh, my mom died of Hodgkin's disease. My dad had a heart attack. My sister was 13. I helped make sure she could go to college and paid on her her uh, college bill until I got out of the Air Force. So there are a lot of self-made people in this world. I'm not one of them. If it wasn't for my family, my friends, and my faith, I wouldn't be here. So what a country where you can grow up in the back of the liquor store, be the first in your family to go to college, and wind up in the United States Senate. Tell us a little bit about yourself for someone who maybe hasn't Googled you and um, doesn't know a lot about you. Well, I grew up in Orangeburg, South Carolina. The son of a teen mom. My mom was 16 years old when she had me. She dropped out of high school uh, to take care of me, and I was raised by my grandparents, uh, and the, the, they were her parents. Uh, my grandmother had an eighth grade education because she had to quit school to go pick cotton, and then she worked in textile plants. My grandfather had a fourth grade education. He had to quit school. He was the eldest of his siblings uh, to help bring money into the family. He worked at a dairy, and he didn't he then did construction and so you know despite the fact that they didn't have a whole lot of money uh, they were rich in terms of the values that they taught me they taught me the value of working hard but they also taught me the value of helping other folks uh, and those are the things that are still instilled in me today and so I was the first in my family to go to college. I went to Yale University. I came back and taught ninth grade social studies for a year at my alma mater, Orangeburg Wilkinson. And then I got an opportunity to work at a nonprofit helping other low income kids get into college because I understood how important a college education was to breaking out of poverty and living the American dream. I then went to law school at Georgetown, worked for Congressman Jim Clyburn for a number of years on Capitol Hill, went into the private sector and worked for companies like Michelin and Boeing, the University of South Carolina, the South Carolina Ports Authority. I then moved back here to South Carolina with my wife, who's a law professor, and uh, we're raising our two boys here in, in South Carolina. Home is definitely where the heart is, and I love South Carolina with all my heart, and that's why I chose to come back home to raise my sons. And uh, But we know that there's so much more that we can do here in South Carolina to make her the best state that she possibly can be. And I believe that uh, our better days are ahead of us and not behind us. And that's why I'm here running for the U.S. Senate. To see more from Graham and Harrison, go to our Fox Carolina News app or our Fox Carolina YouTube channel. Both candidates answer 14 questions. You can watch online and in our newscast. I'll bring you updates on air leading up to Election Day.